my living room carpet because it feels good to lie down on the floor. Start with legs bent or you might want to straighten your legs out. Connecting to your breath. Hi, Bob. Bob wants to play ball, but we're doing yoga right now, Bob. Just connecting to your breath and when you're ready, letting your head roll side to side. Thank you, Bob. I love that. Yes, we're not playing ball right now. Thank you so much. Next time your head turns to the left, you can stay there an extra breath. Come back to center, roll to the right, stay for an extra breath. And come back to center. Take your arms straight up toward the sky and just draw like an infinity sign. Or you can do what Bob's doing. This is his very own asana called Wiggle Asana. And Shake Asana. Again, you can do this with straight legs or bent legs. Do what feels good in your body this moment for this practice. And then release the arms. Reach one arm up and over and then the other. Alternate arms, or perhaps both arms will go at one time. We'll do a couple more. Just getting the body moving this morning on this cloudy Monday in Los Angeles. Coming back to stillness. If your legs are straight, go ahead and bend them. And take your feet wide maybe as wide as a yoga mat-ish or just wider than your hips. Let your arms rest out in a T. Drop both legs over to the left. Come up through center. Legs drop over to the right. Back and forth. You might turn your head the opposite way of your legs. Just Enjoying this twisty, kind of spirally movement. Thank you, Bob. Very patient. Let's do one more each way. And then come back to center. Make sure I didn't ruin my mic here. I hope not. Bring your knees in like you're in a chair that tipped over. And with resistance, straighten your legs as if you don't want to straighten them. You can see mine kind of bouncing a little bit. My legs are like, what are you doing? This is wonderful work for the body, just figuring out something new, slow and steady with resistance, trying to straighten the legs. If it's too much to do both, you can do one at a time. That's wonderful. You also don't have to straighten them all the way. You go where your body goes today. Try resisting on the way down as well. So we straighten with resistance and then we bend with resistance. One more. How is your breath? A teacher once said, where energy goes, or where attention goes, energy flows. So notice where your attention is. Good. Bring your feet down. Let your knees fall together. Bring your hands onto your belly. Watch your body breathe. That sounds so easy, but it's not easy to be the observer of your breath. It takes attention and awareness. So just see where you notice the breath in your body.
Take the knees apart. Arms by the side, wherever they're comfortable. Bring your legs back up into that shape, chair that tipped over. Let's point and flex a couple of times. And circle. Circle the ankles the other way. Maybe feel fancy. Point one, flex one. Maybe circle in opposite directions. Notice the stories that your ankles and your feet are telling you right now. Are you giving them enough love? Good. Bring your legs down and rest. Bob is a very good example of resting. So if it's tricky, just take a look at Bob. Arms will come out in a T for this next one. Hi, Bob. I have to put my hand right there. Bring the legs up into that same shape again, but this time bring the legs all the way together. You can actually squeeze the legs together. And you'll begin just going side to side. So rolling across the sacrum, the triangular shaped bone just below the low back, side to side. And you'll notice if you want to go more. Otherwise, you'll stay with this range, small side to side. You can stop and rest at any time by bringing your feet down. And if you'd like to do more, it's exploring. You're letting the legs go to the side. And now my shoulders will start to lift. My arms might move a little bit as I roll the body side to side. I eventually I'm going to allow my whole body to roll onto the side and then peel open and roll onto the other side. Hi, Bob. Oh, yes, you're such a good boy. He thinks we're playing now. Maybe the head will roll. Maybe the head will lift a little bit. Arms, legs, just rolling. And then come back to stillness and rest. Straight legs or bent legs. I traveled a little bit during that one. You can bring your hands onto your belly if that helps locate your breath or by your rib cage, or let them rest by your sides. A few breaths here. Bring both arms up and over. Bring your right leg in and reach toward your right foot and then peel back. And then the left side, hug the leg in and think about your core, front sides and back, your whole torso getting a little bit more snug as you roll up that spinal flexion here when we're rounding and then Maybe you extend a little and let the spine arch like a back bend as you take the arms down. Just alternating legs. If this is too much, do less. You can bring the leg in and down. You might just look at the leg. Alternating, taking a look. If that's too much, don't even lift the head, just do the legs. Always movement and breath is for you. Are there times to push a little? Of course, but mostly we need to be really kind to ourselves. We're good at pushing and doing more, more, more. Let's make the yoga practice about tuning into the body, finding some strength that is for you specifically 
on this day. That's a yoga practice. Kindness is involved. The word in Sanskrit for kindness to all, including you, ahimsa. Let's do one more on each side. And then come back. If you're comfortable, long legs, long arms, long breath. Otherwise, bend your knees, let your arms rest by your side, focusing on the breath. You might stay here, focusing on your breath. Or bend your knees, bring your arms back down by your sides, and repeat what we just did, drawing a leg in and reaching, or your variation. Remember, just the leg is fine, or peeking up at the leg. Or we'll try something a little different. This is a little more. You may not find this exciting on a Monday morning, or you might love it. Just take your arms behind your legs, draw yourself up into a little ball, and begin rocking. Just rocking along the spine. That's not quite it, Bob, but it's close. And then you may decide that you'd like to go all the way around in a circle. Hi, Bob. Hello. And you breathe. And you roam around in a circle. I'm coming that way, Bob. Oh, there's a ball. There's a ball in my butt. Okay. Thank goodness we moved past that. And once you rolled all the way around, you unroll, go back the other way, drawing yourself into this little ball. My legs are involved, but I'm definitely not trying to do it with my legs and momentum. I'm trying to use the core. And you might have stopped and rested, and that is awesome. Rest is a yoga pose. It's one of my favorites. Ah, when you make your way back, release and rest arms by your sides, knees bent. You may feel the heart beating. You may notice warmth and energy, of course, in the core, front sides and back of your torso, and maybe beyond that you might feel warmth and energy. Rolling around is fun, and we don't do it a lot. Two more breaths here. And roll to one side. Gently press up. Come to a seat. Cross your legs and just walk your arms out. Notice where you feel this. Low back or hips. And then you might roam on over to the side, and you might peel yourself open, move your arm around, come back through center and over to the other side, maybe peel your arm open. Thank you. You're so nice. And then we switch the cross of the legs and walk your arms out again. Full inhales and exhales. And you might go over to the side again, and this time maybe scrunch your shoulders and then release that, and maybe make a circle. That's weird. I love to do weird stuff. The body actually likes to do weird stuff. 
It's surprising and lovely. Shoulder rolls. Walk back in. Oh, here we go. Thank you, Bob. Let your hands rest on your thighs, palms up or down. Very little bit of movement, but notice, without judgment, what your body feels like right now. Do you feel a little more awake and alive? Do you feel a little more present? Do your shoulder joints and hip joints feel a little happier about sitting in this pose, which is called easy seated pose or sukhasana? It's not easy for people to sit like this. How we practice today being on the floor, moving around. You do what you can. You do what you can. Each time is different. That's why it's called a practice. Bring your hands together. Touch in front of your heart. From your heart outward, send something good to someone or some place that could use a little extra today. Bow your head in toward your heart. Have a beautiful day and thank you for exploring and practicing and playing. Namaste.